Hey everyone, welcome back to part four. I'm getting kind of a little later start because um, we've been uh, hauling corn and cleaning it. We got started cleaning out a grain bin. But um, anyway, back here working on the combine. Not sure how long I'll be working on this because I got some, got some other things I got to get caught up and finished on, on as well. However, if you saw my little short video that I posted this morning, um, I said I had to, had to move it out of the shed and um, clean all the chaff and stuff out of it. And so, um, uh, let me get up here. That's a nice thing with this forklift. I can set it up here, put a pallet on it. I'll be putting that cardboard here inside the cage. But um, yeah, I had a bunch of uh, chaff and stuff all right there on the floor. And I took the air gun, blew everything all out of it. And um, for uh, any kind of fire prevention. But um, let me get that cardboard put in there, in there on the floor. And then I'll crawl up inside there and show you where that break is. And so, I'll... there we go. Back in my pocket. In fact, I got looking. This is actually the same cardboard I used here just two years ago when I did a bunch of updates on this rotor cage. That's got that. And I gotta get my work light. Okay. Get enough cord wrapped up and around. Okay, get my phone back out of my pocket. And there we are. You can see how that started cracking right there. And there's no oh, kind of what I would call like a backbone rib running right around the outside. And so um, I want to try, and um, I had a couple guys tell me this uh, helical bar right here, I've got to take this here out. And so that will be coming out. All the rest of the helical bars look good, but um, that one's actually right in my way. And so I want to get this one here out of here. Hmm. But I had a couple of people tell me, I, I took a picture, actually a little short video of this and posted it on some um, Gleaner Combine, uh, well actually two Gleaner Combine Facebook groups. And I um, had several guys get back with me because this is uh, like a hardened steel, but they said that um, you can weld it. And so, um, however, the main thing that I want to do though is... Um, I will have to take and um, heat some of these areas up. That way it'll bend back easier. Get it pulled back in. And 
minutes, so just kind of trying to get a plan of action. I'm not going to be doing any torching tonight because, um, like I said, I got I got some other stuff I got to get done out of the way. But um, I may go ahead and go to work though, getting this helical bar taken out. So far, though, everything else inside the cage looks okay. Okay, well, I need to get some wrenches and um, take those carriage bolts, start getting those loosened up. And in fact, actually what I'll do is I'll leave the top center one in and then take all these here out back there on the front and also back here on the back, take them out and... Um, that way, then I just have one to loosen up. And I gotta watch them bolts when I go to loosen them. They don't go dropping in. But what I'll do is I'll take some, I got some, you no know, little, like a little rectangle magnet I can put in there. You know, it'll just hold stuff in place. Because I gotta take the, it's got, like, it's got like a flange nut on the back here with a spacer. I'll take all those out and then the magnet will hold the bolt in, not let the bolt drop down. With this cardboard, it will help catch some stuff, but um, otherwise it will just drop through, the, through that grating right there, right down into the little, well, actually right there, it can actually fall clear down, clear down on, onto the separator shoe. And um, then I just gotta get my magnet and go fishing and get it all fished out of there. So we'll try to keep that from happening, if, if at all possible. Hmm. However, what I am going to do though, once I get this bit back around, is um, I'm going to take some short angle and back here on the on the well on the outside back here on the on the other side of this on the outside of the cage and um put some angle across here that helps that that will help to strengthen that up All right. Okay, back in my pocket. Kind of like some guys wear a GoPro on their head. Which actually works out pretty good, I guess. However, with a GoPro, I don't know if you can upload videos directly from a GoPro on onto uh, YouTube and Facebook or not. Or if you had to pick and transfer them to a laptop. And so, my phone's a whole lot simpler. Just hit upload and you're good to go.
Okay, well, I'm probably just going to end it right here and um, may get to uh, do a second video once I I got to get my magnets dug out. They're actually put away, and so I got to get them dug out and in place. So I may go ahead and grab that. Then I can go to work taking that helical bar out.